the workshop is about internal pr we are doing this workshop because we want to talk about public relations public information within narcotics anonymous inside narcotics anonymous why it's important not just for a pr committee but for me as a member for my home group which is survivors in new delhi every single one of us is pr right if we remember that then na's image automatically becomes better so that's what simon thank you so much okay so you know we are running a little bit out of time and we had a couple of more questions about committees but i'm going to sort of skip a little bit because we we have some examples about uh, uh, you know how we do internal pr and i'm going to request eric uh, to take that uh following example i'm i'm eric i'm a recovering addict in hawaii aloha the eric example huh i said aloha eric <laughs> the following examples are real life situations experienced in the past individuals for instance members wearing na t-shirts misbehaving in public we covered that h and i complaints are received that h&i members are being disrespectful to the staff of a facility or to the rules of that facility or institution groups a local group is being asked to participate in church or mosque activities implying that the continued use of the facility depends on the group's participation convention a group of members on motorcycles park their bikes in the lobby of the hotel you want to talk about that a little bit eric <laughs> yeah the last one yes yeah um some years ago maybe about 15 20 about 20 years ago in the san francisco area a uh, bay area they had a, a convention where a bunch of na members who were bikers actually drove their motorcycles into the lobby of the hotel of course the hotel staff was very upset about that told them to leave so what happened was is that that hotel and that hotel chain told the na um convention committee that they were not welcome at their hotel anymore the the uh results of this is that the other hotels in the San Francisco area also knew about this event and was also resistant to having an NA convention so you can see where this created a reputation for narcotics anonymous uh in San Francisco that they flaunted the rules they didn't um they weren't respectful to the facilities um that other example groups a local group they had a problem where the church was asking them to participate in uh activities of the church and so the members of the group says well you know we need they came to the area and says we need some help because they're asking us to um help them i forget what it was uh clean up the uh place or something but to actually interact with the other members of the uh church and so our our public uh, information or public relations committee uh sat down with the, some of the group leaders and spoke to the church explaining why this may not be the best uh uh fit with our traditions uh they actually came up with a a solution and they said we'll help clean up the place as part of our rent and our usage but we're not going to participate with uh, the rest of your church because that will make our members think that they're a member of your church and we're not so that that was a successful uh, event so basically what we're leading to next slide please is how do we respond to these oppor opportunities like simon was saying as an individual and a member you can stand up and say something you know uh as groups 
you know, the groups can, can go to the area and ask for help. Um, they can go and speak to people. They can speak to their members and say, you know, uh, standing outside and getting real loud and whistling at the girls and smoking and throwing your cigarettes any place that you want is endangering the group, endangering the group's use of the, of the facilities. And as PR committees, um, <clears throat> PR committees uh, can respond to some of these events. Uh, for instance, like H&I. Um, the H&I uh, committee or the, um, the facility in question was receiving complaints or making complaints about any members saying that they were disrespectful to the facility. And it turned out that they were, it was just one of those, those kind of um, attitude things where the people that were there were disrespectful in a personal way with the staff of the facility. So it really was a, 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 a point where the PR committee and the HNI committee went to the facility and worked together to say, look, we're sorry, this is not how we want to be. You know, we do want to respect your facility and your things because we want to bring the message of Narcotics Anonymous to the uh, prisoners in this facility. You know, so it was slow down a little. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. You got carried away. So yeah, no, <laughs> I started not... getting into it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the Thank PR you. committee and H and I committee got together, went to the facility, spoke to the um, uh, the managers, and basically apologized and said, "This is not what we want. We want to come back." We want to carry our message to the prisoners here. It's very important to us. So we basically apologized and then said that in the future, we're not going to do these things. The H&I committee went back to their own people and said, hey, look, you can't go into these places and treat the uh, um, uh, managers or the guards in a disrespectful way. You may not like them, but that doesn't matter. You're there representing Narcotics Anonymous. You're there to represent the message of recovery to the addicts in there. So you need to behave better, something like that. Um, so I guess the question is, if somebody would like to share, we have time, I guess, maybe yeah. share about, uh, you know, how do we respond to these internal people? Like I said, the the, Internal PR committee isn't just looking at members. It, I mean, it is looking at members, but sometimes when this happens, we have to work with those outside of Narcotics Anonymous because we may need to make an amend. 